Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here for the Blitzy Creative Team, and today we're going to make a scrapbooking layout. I'm going to start with a picture of our little puppy, and this stencil from CC Designs, it's a 6x6 six six stencil, and it's just little hearts, and I'm going to be using the Amy Tangerine Serendipity and, no, Amy Tangerine Rise and Shine and Dear Lizzie Serendipity kits some texture paste from Ranger and this little like spatula and these paper collections are available in the everyday section of the Blitzy store as well as the texture paste and I believe some sort of spatula and maybe not exactly this one but some sort of tool that you can use for this technique I will um, have links for. So as you can see, I'm just putting a very, very thin layer of this texture paste. What I love about this Ranger texture paste is that it dries really white. Some of them can get a little yellowy, and I like that it stays nice and crisp. I, I am using a background of American Crafts 12x12 white cardstock, and it takes mediums very well, like paints or texture paste or things like that. It's not a watercolor paper, but I find that it acts a little bit like one. I'm going to take this set of dies from Lawn Fawn. These are these small stitched rectangles and a piece of the um, yellow paper with the white hearts on it that's from the Mona Me 6x6. Both of those things are also available in the um, everyday section as well as that stapler that I just used. So now I'm taking these watercolor mixed media Prima pencils and a watercolor brush and at first I thought that I was going to tap the end of the pencil and distribute some watercolor around that texture paste, but then I remembered that the texture paste was gonna take the color and I didn't want all of the hearts turning pink. So instead what I decide to do is to touch the end of my watercolor pen to the end of the pencil and pick up that, transfer that pigment and then create these splatters with it. And I absolutely love the way that it turned out. It's so easy. It's very easy to control by the amount of water that you use is how big the, the splatters are going to be. And I just, I love the effect of it. It's a little bit hard to see the hearts and the texture that that stenciling gave to this layout, but you will see it better in the close-up pictures. So I've just layered some pattern papers behind my photograph here. I've cut a little piece from the 6x6 paper and added a roller date stamp to it. And now I'm going to take a branding strip from one of the Amy Tangerine Rise and Shine papers and adhere that to the bottom of my layout to give it a little bit of grounding, a little bit of border. I'm going to take a couple of tags. I believe these are from the Dear, Liz a Dear Lizzie line, an older one, maybe Fifth and Frolic. Staple them together and just glue them behind. This layout for me was all about the background. It was all about the stenciling or using the stencil with the texture paste and then that water color splatter I just loved it so I thought I was going to call this layout sweet girl and I really want to use those silver thickers from Amy Tangerine because I never use silver on layouts I always use gold if I use a metallic but I didn't like the the that you couldn't see the word sweet it didn't stand out at all because it's way too much behind it so I just switched the title to Ellie girl our little puppy's name is Ellie I've added a few of these puppy stickers from the Drillsy Serendipity line. And I'm going to add a couple of more stickers and then some paper to the top of the layout to balance that strip at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is go through all of the papers in the two collections that I have and cut the branding strips off, branding strips off that I like. And one of them is a silver one and I really wanted to bring some of that silver to the top of the layout because I have it in the title on the bottom and I like that balance. So that is what I did. I used the silver one and then I used a piece, I believe a, a yellow, just a thin strip on top of that. I think initially I used my glue gun to put this down and the thin strip, or maybe I, I don't remember, but whatever adhesive I used, I ended up having to fix it here in a minute. I'm gonna take a couple of these tiny word stickers from, or again from an Amy Tangerine collection. And any of this that's available in the shop there will be links below or, that you can click on or above if you're reading this on the blog, if you're watching this from the blog, there's links to these products. So I don't have to keep saying that over and over again because a lot of these products are available in the everyday part of the store. So I'm just finishing up with a couple of little embellishment details and I think that's pretty much going to complete this. I like to use 
my tiny tapture are staples to to adhere a lot of things and I use this American Crafts one because it has silver staples in it and I keep gold staples in my Tim Holtz one so I really like having two. Totally not necessary but lots of fun. So this is a really fun technique that you can use on cards or Project Life cards or layouts and I hope that you'll give it a try and if you do let us know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye!